Uh, so congratulations to all of you for qualifying. Uh, we hope you enjoy the breakfast and the game today. Uh, and I'd like to introduce, uh, we'll say some more words later on, but I'd like to introduce a very good friend of the game, uh, Emily Mathematician, who would like to say that today, uh, and who is Ken Ono from Emory University. Congratulations, welcome to Baltimore. I actually grew up not very far from here, where, um, where my father was a professor at Johns Hopkins, so it's kind of like a homecoming. It's wonderful to have a jam in here. I love this event. Every year we get to celebrate mathematics. The joint math meetings is an opportunity for the major societies that celebrate mathematics to convene and host events like major talks and fun days like today where you're going to enjoy the mathematic art. You guys are kind of the highlight of the afternoon. You will make the show. And so you should be proud of that. We look forward to it. And in addition to the beautiful blue shirts you're all wearing, we'll be competing for some prizes. Independent of the prizes, I hope it's fun. I hope you have the opportunity to take part in the many activities that are here today. And what that begins with is this breakfast here in this room. Uh, but I do want to take a moment to, to introduce some of the very distinguished mathematicians that we've invited to mingle with you this morning. I think you will probably know many of them by name, but if not, uh, I'm about to tell you who's in the room. So let me begin with Ken Ribbit, who's the president of the American Math Society. He has been super busy. But he always takes the time to attend this breakfast. You may know him, he's a professor from UC Berkeley, and without him, there would still not be a proof of Vermont last year. Sitting immediately to the, to the left of Ken is a good friend of mine, Scott Commoners. So, despite his youthful appearance, Scott is very distinguished. He was one of the first winners of the AMS MA Siam Morgan Prize many years ago for his work across number theory. He was advised by Noam Elkies a long time ago. That's when I first got to know Scott. But he's gone on to lead a very distinguished career. He's now on the faculty at Harvard in the School of Economics. He's also a Harvard fellow. And he is, he is, well, he is, how to say, he's a dynamo for many things that are academic, so that is science. This table, I'd like to introduce Amanda Folsom. So Amanda is a professor at Amherst College. She moved to Amherst after earning tenure at Yale. She is a very distinguished number theorist, and if you had been here a few days ago, you would have had the opportunity to see her MA invited address. It's a very big honor to give an invited address to a national meeting, and Amanda gave a wonderful lecture on number theory of homogen and a field called quantum modular forms. Also at this table, it's my pleasure to introduce Jill Piper. Jill is the president-elect of the American Mathematical Society and is probably delighted that when he gets to step down, he gets to hand the reins over to Jill. She, she's a professor at Brown University, where she wears many hats, and, uh, and we're delighted to have him here. Am I, am I missing anyone? Great. Well, enjoy breakfast, and in about 15 minutes time or so, 15 or 20 minutes, we'll start giving out a few prizes and, and offer some instructions for the rest of the day. So congratulations, everyone, and have some pancakes, some coffee, orange juice, and then uh, we'll return in a few minutes.